guys so i thought i would do a halloween video of how i decorate my halloween tree so my halloween tree is actually resting in a fruit bowl and this is a bowl i bought from home sense but you can get it from tk maxx and i painted it myself i kind of preferred the red and the black to the original gold i then put this really nice like fat scarf around the outside just to kind of give it a little bit more of a spooky atmosphere and then i'm just sprinkling these craft leaves now i love these leaves i actually got them from the works i think it's 50 for a pound but i i always use them and i just think it gives it a really autumny look i really love like combining halloween with like the autumn season i then also added these little plastic bats which i got from sainsbury's and if any of you have watched my Sainsbury's haul, you would have seen that I have a munchkin that's been drying in my airing cupboard. So this little munchkin's been bought out after about a month and a half of drying. He's nice and solid now, and hopefully he's not going to go rotten or anything, but it means he's perfect to put on display. I'm also going to a pumpkin patch tomorrow, so I'm hoping to get some bigger ones as well. Um, but I'm going to put some gifts and things around this tree, so I thought I don't want to get anything too big. Um, I then also add like chocolates and sweets to the, like, the bowl, so if anyone comes by and looks at the tree they can grab a little treat while you're there these are little chocolates which i was given by the moon and stars so i thought they would go perfectly in there they're little mini pumpkins so my tree itself i actually just got from the garden it's just some branches that we cut down and in the background i have some black fabric and also a black tablecloth which i was also given to by the moon and stars and then I am using some tinsel. I know tinsel is more of a Christmas tradition, but I absolutely love this tinsel. I found it in Poundland about three years ago, and it's just white tinsel with lots of different ghosts and things coming off of it. I do have bat and pumpkin ones as well, but I have got, as you'll see, some bat lights, which also came from the Moon and Stars. She got them from Poundland, and so I thought I'd go for ghosts and bats this year. I absolutely love these lights so much. They're little purple bats, but the lights inside are blue, and I feel like the blue goes really nice with the white of the like tinsel so I'm just really really pleased with those and also they're battery operated so you can just shove this little battery pack down in the bowl below no one will see it and also it means I can have my tree wherever I want I don't have to have it right next to a main socket which I usually do so that made it really really handy and the lights aren't that long but there was enough for the size of the tree that I am decorating and as you can see, they look amazing when they're lit up. So now I'm adding my baubles. I've done a whole video of how I made these baubles, but this was just one which was just glittery and I added some black acrylic paint to. I put this one near a light because I felt like because it was so glittery, it needed to be next to something that would make it all sparkle and look nice. This one is a spiderweb one. This is one of my favourite ones. And I'm so pleased with how the spider has stuck on there. I wasn't too sure because I was using PVA glue. But I feel like it looks pretty effective. And as you can see the branches are quite thick. So it's quite hard to hang these off of. So I'm having to be quite selective as to where I put these. This one as well is also sparkly. So I wanted it relatively near a light. And then this is more of a horror one. Felt like it didn't really fit in with my theme as much but because i spent time making and painting this one i still wanted to put it on there i just put it kind of a little bit further towards the back but you can still see it i think um <laughs> and i absolutely love the variation of the colors and things this one is my favorite one i absolutely love this bat bubble so i'm putting it right at the top like if it was a christmas tree this would be my angel at the top of my tree um, and then this was a very simplistic one that I made. Again, it's glittery, so I wanted it to be near a light, but I wasn't too fussed about seeing the design. This tree is for me, so I want to like see all my favourite ones at the front. Um, this one just reminds me of the moon and stars. I made her a very similar bauble to this for her Christmas tree, and it just reminds me of her, so that's why I wanted to put it straight on like on show. Um, I just then had to sort out my tinsel because it had <laughs> messed up a little bit. Um, and then this is my text one, just like with Christmas trees as well, when you put the baubles on there, sometimes you see things um, which could fit better in different places. So I did have to move a few of these baubles around and alter the tinsel a bit and move the lights, but it's just about getting the right look. So this is my cat, um, well, <laughs> my cat bauble. Um, I thought I'd put it near the front because I kind of based it off of Gomez a little bit. And I just, I really love how these 3D ones turned out. And then I also have this one just with stickers. So this one is a super simple one. As I said in my craft video, this was kind of one which I made as an example of things you could do with children. So I got these bats from Sainsbury's. They're called Mesmerising Bat Tree Decorations. 
and these are really good i think they cost me three pound and there's about five or six of them in there and they're just really nice felt bats i didn't get them at first so i thought they'd just be felt cut out but they're actually plastic bats with felt on them and they're on a little bit of elastic string and it just means that you can hang them wherever but they are meant to be tree decorations so that's why I have put them on my Halloween tree um, and I'll probably be them on my Christmas tree as well. So that is my tree finished. There wasn't much else I could add to this tree just because I've chosen a little bit of a weird tree to decorate because this is effectively just a branch that has got crazy like shape to it. Um, with a Christmas tree obviously you've got loads and loads of branches to choose from. I didn't really have as many but I feel like it worked out quite well and I'm so pleased with this bowl. When I got it from HomeSense I wasn't quite sure what I was going to use it for. Then when I was putting my tree together this morning I was like whoa this one is perfect. So anyway I had so much fun today creating the baubles for this and putting my tree together and now it's all ready for Halloween. We've like six days to go and I am so ready. I'm just i'm beyond excited if any of you have any halloween trees that you're decorating please tag me in them or send me a picture of them because i am so excited to see everyone else's trees or even if you're doing a christmas tree that's spooky themed i will be equally excited to see that if you've got any questions or comments please leave them below if it's sunny where you are i hope you're enjoying the shade and i will see you next time bye